I'm myself, but I am having a vision, aren't I? This isn't like the other visions. How can I be having a vision of myself? Because this is the last one. That's me, Opal. Nice to finally meet you, Queen Snowfall. I have the feeling I've been yelling at you for the past several days. <laughs> Not any more than any of the other queens who've used the ring before you. Have there been a lot? Does every queen put it on at some point? Not everyone. It's enchanted to appear to those who need it most. So I needed it because we had to find out what was happening in Pantala? And make a connection with the scavengers so that they help us take down Queen Wasp? <laughs> I'm glad you used it so well, but no. It's for dragons who become queens before they're ready, to help them take steps to become even stronger queens. That's a polite way of putting it. But you mean it's for queens who are a total mess, to teach them to see the world through other dragons' eyes so they won't be so selfish. Is that it? <laughs> we don't say that part out loud. And you aren't a total mess. Are you really here in the Forbidden Treasury? I was just wondering how to find you so I can throw you into my dungeon forever. <laughs> no. I died a long time ago. I created my one animus gift, and then I lived a long and happy normal life as an Icewing. I just left a little bit of my spirit in the ring to help keep track of visions, and to have this last conversation when the ring has finished its work. I can't believe your original queen agreed to this. She fully did not. Why do you think I made the enchantment the way it is? She became queen before she was ready too, and she was always so scared and furious all the time. She asked me for an animus gift that would allow her to spy on all of her enemies, both outside the kingdom and inside her own tribe. I may have made her this instead. Wow. I can't believe she didn't execute you the moment she realized she couldn't take it off. That's probably what I would have done. No, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have thrown me in the dungeon, like she did. And then, after a few weeks, if the ring works the way I enchanted it to, you'd have forgiven me, like she did. A few weeks? I've learned all my vision lessons in just a few days. Maybe you were closer to ready than you ever realized. What if... What if I'm not sure I'm ready? Maybe I need a few more visions. No. This ring is magic. It knows exactly how much you need. And there's just one more for you to see. They play some kind of made up game. Something that involves a lot of running and defending particular corners of the courtyard. And snowballs flying everywhere. Come on! We can't let them win! <laughs> Come play, Crystal! Is it time for lunch yet? No! After this, you're going to quiz me my kingdom geography! Remember? If you say so. My three perfect daughters, crystal serenity, minx affectionate loveliness, and snowfall's indomitable ferocity. I love them so much. I've already decided I won't fight any of them for the throne. Whichever one decides to challenge me first, I'll step aside and let them have it. I hope it's snowfall. I love them all, but Snowfall will fight for this kingdom like nobody else will. She has some growing up to do first, and I hope to pay some more attention to her once this war is over. But even now, watching her, I can see what a great queen Snowfall could be. Being a queen has not been easy. I'm often exhausted, frustrated, confused, uncertain. I worry for my tribe all the time and I have inexplicable nightmares about Nightwings. I've had to work hard to seem confident in front of my tribe, 
The crown would be too much for Crystal or Mink. It would crush them. But Snowfall is strong enough to rule a kingdom and do it well. I'm sure of it. Snowfall earns her place at the top of the dragonet side of the wall. Day after day, as she struggles and cares and tries and fights. And that's who the Ice Wings need. We're going to be alright. No matter what happens, I'll be able to leave the tribe in the right talent. Thank you. I just made the magic. You had to walk the visions, and now you're done. Shouldn't I keep it a bit longer? So I can see what happens to Dragon Her go into Pantala? It doesn't work that way. The gift of vision serves its purpose, and then it disappears again until the next dragon comes along who needs it. Good luck. Hello guys, thank you so much for watching this map and if you made it to the premiere, thank you so much for attending. And we really hope you like the final project. My name is Eboy on YouTube, but I go by either Eboy or Ebony online, and I play Snowfall on this map. This project in total has taken over a year to be completed, but before the map was released, it took about a couple months of work. Coincidentally, Azure and SeaWorld both had the same idea and decided to collaborate on the idea together. Snowfall, Mink, Crystal, and the Courtyard were all designed by SeaWorld, and Opal, Glacier, and the Forbidden Treasury were designed by Azure. My name is the lovely Lady Lil, and I played the role of Opal. <laughs> In total, there were 48 talented artists that contributed to this project, and 44 parts total, one of them being the outro. A huge shout out to all of those who worked so hard on their parts and stepped in to help those who needed help. Without you, this project wouldn't have been completed and we thank you a million. My name is Zika and I played as Queen Glacier. The music and editing of this map call were done by two very talented people. Dragoness and RB are humorous. It was all edited super well so make sure to give them a huge thank you in the comments. Without them, this project probably would have been very different. My name is Artax, and I played Crystal. There were so many talented thumbnail contestants, so please go check them out if you ever have time. It was very difficult for the host to choose, but the one that caught their eyes was Aquavix. Congratulations, Aquavix, <laughs> and thank you so much for joining the contest. We thank you all again for coming to watch this project, and hope you all have a wonderful day. My name is Fruit, and I played Mink. This is Mink signing off. See you all later.